Hey, what's up, guys? It's Oakley, and CA did roll out with a hot fix for the uh, Wood Elves. So it was something that was in beta for like a day or two, and then they rolled out with it officially. So it's pretty cool. Um, they're very um, keen to address people's issues that they raised on the forums and on Reddit. So it was cool to see Grace and everyone kind of chime in. They clearly took a lot of feedback and directly implemented it, which was great to see. The first comment here says, basically, people were saying that the Wood Elves, they thought, were too tough. Um, and then CA responds by saying, yeah, they were intended to be tough. And a lot of the issues people are having is just them playing uh, an asymmetrical kind of game style and the fact that the Wood Elves play differently. Uh, and CA was definitely going to try and stick with that. It's not something that they want to change. The additional comments uh, had to do with archers and saying, yeah, they're not really that powerful or in the forest they get, uh, they don't have the buffs that are required. So um, CA did hit them with a big buff, 20 range, 20 meters of range, I should say, for all elven archers, and then more missile damage for the archers. So that's going to be great. Um, they also discussed a little bit of the outposts and how to play with them. Um, they did fix a couple bugs and issues, and then for the Wood Elves campaign balance pass here, uh, they reduce the colonization cost, and they give outposts a boost to income per turn, and then they read it a bit of how the amber penalties work. So a lot of more things uh, in the mix there that you can check out. The main one that I wanted to address is here all the individual unit changes, because that's going to affect, obviously, multiplayer. Now in the background, I am showing a little bit of their kind of behind the scenes on making of the Wood Elves. That's also worth checking out. I'll link that below. But yeah, it's cool. So basically, if you look at all the units here, well, all the archers get hit with the 20 meter range boost, which is going to be awesome. A lot of people were complaining that the archers were kind of on the right direction, but that they are outranged and outgunned by enemy uh, units, particularly Bretonian peasant bowmen were killing them, dwarven quarrelers were killing them, and so now with this range boost, it'll definitely improve the elves' ability to get the edge in a skirmishing engagement and not so much win when they're standing there firing at each other but the boost in range allows you to kite that much more effectively before you get shot back at so you can come into range shoot and get out of there before the enemy is able to counter you now in a straight up fight you still won't win necessarily um, although they did give a little bit more missile damage to all these units uh, but CA has explicitly stated that yeah they're not supposed to be there to stand up toe-to-toe -to -toe with heavily armored units like quarrelers and so, yeah, you're going to have to use this range that they're giving you to uh, keep kiting and keep doing a little bit of the skirmishing. So that's great. That's uh, a step in the right direction. Um, if you take a look at the uh, Weight Watchers, four armor piercing damage and then a cost reduction of minus 100. That should make them way more viable. Uh, so that's awesome. The high tier elven units just don't seem worth it post, uh, sorry, before this uh, hotfix, and so this is going to be hopefully something that will improve the viability of their high tier units. Uh, Waystalker, 20 meter range, Eternal Guard, uh, 50 recruitment cost, I think that's a reduction in 50, uh, it may be up or down, I'm actually not sure, I, I remember they posted something about that, maybe you guys can correct me, uh, but my impression was they did reduce it, which will make those guys even more cost effective, and then Wildwood Rangers have more buffs. Uh, increased melee attack, increased melee defense, and then a more armor piercing, and then the Wild Riders have even a larger charge bonus. So, yeah, overall buffs to the Wood Elves is going to be great to see. I'm very excited to, to play with these guys a little bit more in multiplayer. You've been seeing almost every battle online, people try them out. I think people are in love with these guys, uh, and they're super fun. So these buffs are going to make them more viable. I did play a fair amount of games with myself against kind of Indie Pride playing. He was playing as the Beastmen or the Vampire Counts, and I did feel like, I mean, he's definitely a bit better than me, so he was beating me. But I felt like some of the games I played relatively, not flawlessly, but really well and didn't make too many micro lapses. But nonetheless, I was beaten. And it seemed kind of due to the fact that the Wood Elves needed to get a bit more buffs. So I'll have to do some more testing. Uh, but yeah, this will see a bit more viability. Um, and yeah, so that's cool. Also in the background, uh, we saw just a little bit previously in this video, they were showing off how they did some of the sound design. And I have to give them big props for that because in the game, with the headphones on, the sound is just jaw dropping. When you listen to the wood, uh, the the treekin and the tree men moving around, even Durthu's movements sound so rich, so real. Um, all the sound effects did great amount of work. So I'm glad to see them pumping out a bit more of these behind the scenes videos. The artists and everyone involved definitely involves uh, a pat on the back. So this is cool. 
and just overall this this the speed of this hotfix and the response that Tia has given us seems really on point, seems very fair, balanced, very responsive. So overall I think they deserve a really big pat on the back. This is a big turnaround from what we were seeing in the days of Rome 2. I think it's definitely a good business model. They're seeing a lot of people excited about DLC. Um, I know they've stated that the profits uh, that they've been seeing for Total War Warhammer and all the DLC has made it much more viable and they're going to be altering their plans uh, concerning Total War Warhammer as a result, increasing the amount of content they're going to be able to put into it. And I think it will affect their downstream or future progression of the main Total War titles, which is going to be, you know, Total War Warhammer 2 and 3. So maybe the scope of that will change. So we'll have to wait to hear more about that. Um, but yeah, anyways, big old pat on the back for CA. And definitely get out there and try the Wood Elves. They're super fun. And this buff for multiplayer should make them way more viable and enjoyable. So I'll see you guys out there. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.